the month of April has some of the most interesting currently airing BL series and I want to share my thoughts about them. In this video, I will be listing down all of the BL series that I currently watch for this April and also my reviews about its story. If you also want to share your opinions about these shows, feel free to share it on the comment section below. Before that, some of these BL series might not be available on your country due to geo-blocked restriction. If that's the case, then you might want to sign up to ExpressVPN so you can unlock these geo-blocked BL dramas while also surfing the web safely and anonymously. Use the link on the description below to have 49% discount plus an additional 3 months free of usage if you opt to avail the 12 month plan. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. First on my watch list, step by step, its trailer was one of the key factors why I decided to include this on my watch list for April and I can say that it has the potential after watching the first episode. I'm not gonna lie but I already dislike some of the side characters due to the nature of their personalities for its plot and there were some acting performances that could have been better. Aside from these, I already fell in love with the main characters and their chemistry was superb. The age gap between the two helps the plot to become even more interesting because there's a variation on their personalities. Pat is more of a friendly and outgoing person while Jeng is more of a serious person with a professional looks. The preview of the second episode already showed some of the new characters that will drive its plot further and I hope it would add a spice on its story. Overall, Step by Step is a promising ongoing BL series and I hope it gets better over time. Step by Step can be watched on Gaga Ulala and Wii TV. Number 2 on my watch list, Our Sky Season 2. It's been 5 years since the first season of Our Sky and I really like the idea of having a compiled special episodes of different BL series. I have already seen the first two episodes of Our Sky which are the continuation of Never Let Me Go. To be honest, I think the concept of time traveling involving the characters of Noong and Palm was executed right. In fact, the special episodes are so much interesting compared to the main plot of Never Let Me Go probably because of the added thrill and exciting genre. Our Sky Season 2 took the chemistry of Pond and Few into the next level and made a great impact on me even with only two episodes. Historical stories could be a great plot for the future BL shows of GMM TV and I hope that they would make one. One thing that I didn't like was the first few scenes because it felt like different compiled ads. Aside from that, I enjoyed the first two episodes and I can't wait what would be the difference of the other BL shows compared to Never Let Me Go. Our Sky Season 2 can be watched on YouTube. Number 3 on my watch list, Our Dining Table. One of my most favorite on the currently airing BL shows is Our Dining Table and it's really giving me a heartwarming series. The sexual tension between the two main characters is evident whenever they have scenes alone together but at the same time, the ambience is still quite wholesome. All of them are cute and there's no contest when it comes to their visuals. Tane also adds a different approach to its plot rather than a straightforward romance between the two male leads. I have only seen the first two episodes but I already fell in love with everything about it. Japanese BLs are truly on a different league when it comes to storytelling. Our dining table can be watched on Gaga Ulala. Number 4 on my watch list, The Eighth Sense. One of the most talked BL series today is The Eighth Sense and after watching its first two episodes, I could already know why. There are already 8 episodes available to the public but since I'm quite late on this topic, I only have a limited knowledge and personal thoughts about The Eighth Sense. First of all, The Eighth Sense is quite different compared to most Korean BLs we have seen from the past. Before, we are greeted with handsome faces with a fairytale like setup between the two male leads. In the 8th sense, it's more of a realistic approach while keeping it interesting. 
As of now, I'm loving the dynamics of the main characters and their chemistry is definitely no joke. There's an issue of an evil ex-girlfriend in this series which we have seen for so many times before in TyBLs but I hope the plot would handle it in a much better execution while also making sense. The 8th Sense can be watched on Vicky. Number 5 on my watch list, Naked Dining. If TyBL series are somewhat focused on boss employee shows currently, then Japanese BLs are more on food and dining with an added plot twist. Naked Dining is one of the currently airing BL shows and I have already seen its first episode, although the second episode might be available at the moment this video is uploaded. For my initial impressions, the plot is quite interesting and I couldn't help but laugh on Ichijo's solo moments whenever he's eating while naked. It's not clear why Ichijo has this kind of habit but we'll definitely learn the reason on the later episodes. I know that I have only seen the first episode but their chemistry isn't that quite established yet. But with 12 episodes in total, we could only hope that the plot would help them develop more as a couple. My only concern on this BL is whether the plot would be draggy or not as we approach the later episodes. Overall, Naked Dining has its unique storyline and I hope it improves in the later part of the series. Naked Dining can be watched on Gaga Ooh La La. Number 6 on my watch list, A Boss and a Babe. I'm a couple of weeks late for this BL since I'm still on its 4th episode but that's because I want to binge watch the remaining episodes once it's done. I'm loving the aura of Cher and Gun but their relationship as boss and employee is somewhat not that quite convincing if we're going to talk about real world scenarios. One probable reason could be their ages since the gap isn't that big like that of step by step. On the other hand, the chemistry of the two male leads is top notch and I won't complain about their lovely scenes since everything is good. This BL might not have a complex plot which revolves around two men a complicated characters but it's still quite on a good run. A boss and a babe can be watched on YouTube. This video is actually late but since I'm waiting for some on this list to air, I decided to postpone it in order to share my insights about them too. The current list of ongoing BL series is so diverse when it comes to their plots so you could definitely choose what do you want to see in a show. Which of these are your favorites? Thank you for watching. That's it and see you on the next one.